Dick Gilbert saved a lot of lives that day. That's legendary WHAS 11 anchor Ken Rowland one month after the April 3rd, 1974 tornado. He's talking about WHAS radio traffic reporter Dick Gilbert, who was up in his helicopter providing real-time updates as the tornado moved. Gilbert was able to tell people where the tornado had already hit and most importantly where it was heading next. He was also the first to report on the damages left behind. In fact, he was a Louisville native, Ben, who ironically grew up where we're standing in Crescent Hill. He knew every street down below as he was flying in the air. So now, 50 years later, our Reed Yaden and photojournalist John Humphreys are retracing his aerial path. We're heading winds up the good gracious sakes alive. How high is the wind speed at this time? There's 50 right there. My golly, the whole thing's going, hit, I'm going, come on. Now the wind damage hit the roof of Freedom Hall and it tore three big holes in the roof. The horse barns are no more. It is definitely a moving up toward the Crescent Hill water tank now. It was just after 4.30 when meteorologist John Burke abruptly ended that live radio interview. Dick Gilbert followed the tornado in a helicopter as it cut an 11-mile path northeast across Louisville Metro, impacting Audubon Park, the Highlands, Crescent Hill, Indian Hills, and Northfield. 900 homes leveled or severely damaged. You're looking at Northfield, just after the tornado. Here's the way Northfield looks today from the Sky 11 drone. It's as bad as I've seen anywhere. The uh, whole park over here, Seneca, uh, Cherokee Park, there aren't any trees left in Cherokee Park. 400 acres of Seneca and Cherokee Parks lost 2,000 trees. The cleanup included planting 2,500 new trees. The words of a parks official 50 years ago have proven accurate. 25 years from now, I think that uh, there will certainly be evidence that, uh, that this part of the park is less mature than, than parts of the park that weren't hit. Um, 50 years from now, uh, I think it will, will be a pretty mature looking park so that somebody that's in, in grade school or even high school today has a very good chance of seeing it as a, as a mature park. Damage from the tornado cost $37 million. That equals over $250 million today. While a half a century has erased the scars, the memories of April 3rd, 1974 are forever etched in the collective memories of this community.